What do you call a Colts Neck native who will earn a bachelor's degree in international relations and simultaneously a master's degree in public administration from the University of Pennsylvania with a perfect grade point average in both? You'd call him a Rhodes Scholar, one of three selected from New Jersey, who will start postgraduate studies at Oxford University in England next fall. Chris Durso sat down with senior correspondent David Cruz. So you are one of three Rhodes Scholars uh, from New Jersey this year. Do you all know each other? You all hang out? I actually have only Some met... Some Rhodes Scholar jokes? Yeah, no, mm -hmm. I've actually only met one of them so far who I interviewed with, Jordan, because they do the interviews based off of by region. But we've kind of connected through social media and we'll be keeping in touch and obviously mm -hmm. spending the next few years together. Looking forward to getting to know everyone more. So does someone, does someone aspire to Rhodes Scholarliness? Like, did you say to your parents, Mom, I want to be a Rhodes Scholar. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think it was not really something I'd really thought of before last year. I had it recommended to me by Penn's office that handles these types of fellowships and scholarships and then decided to look into it more and then applied for it then. But I don't think I ever said, oh, I want to grow up and be a Rhodes Scholar. So the Rhodes Scholarship has uh, this kind of social responsibility aspect. Talk yeah. about that a little bit. Yeah, one of the, the mission really of the Rhodes Scholarship is to equip people to fight the world's fight. And each one of us may define that slightly differently, but that's one of the things that really attracted me most to the scholarship is because ever since I was really young, my parents taught me how one person can make a difference. And that has been my guiding passion throughout life and wanting to pursue a career in public service. So you're another uh, Rhodes Scholar who sees himself running for office or something someday. Yeah, I see I see my initial career path starting off as a federal prosecutor where I can take on some of the, the worst crimes and then move on into a career in policy world as an elected official because, you know, the enforcement education part are important, but you also need to be supported by strong laws that are really going to help people in need. So law school then is next for you? Yeah, see, after Oxford, I'll be going directly into a law school, or that's at least a plan. You've also done some work with uh, Congressman Chris Smith. Yeah. Yes. Tell me yeah. about that. So I had interned with Congressman Smith and also separately worked with him on the issue of country of origin labeling, which is basically like if you buy a food product, it should say, oh, this is a product of U.S., product of China. But the problem is there are these huge loopholes in the laws so that a large percentage of foods coming into the U.S. actually don't have labeling. So I presented this research to Congressman Smith, started doing the research back in 2012, met with him in 2013, and then he called for a congressional hearing before the Congressional Executive Commission on China, where I testified back in 2014 with USDA and FDA on my research and recommendations on how we can really strengthen the laws because they undermine consumer rights if people don't know where their food's coming from. You are a serious guy. Uh, <laughs> yes. What do you do for fun? Do, do, do you have a, a large group of friends, or is it just you know, the, the smartest kids in cold snack. <laughs> no, no, I definitely wouldn't say it's all the smartest kids, but I, you know, I do have a, you know, a core close knit group of friends. I like spending time with them, especially up at school, exploring more Philly. I'm a big history buff, so Philly's a perfect city to explore, you know, go down by the Independence Hall area. Your parents drove you here. Yeah. Uh, they are in fact here in the studio. Uh, so I guess you're gonna have to be uh, diplomatic with this, but who, who are your influences? Let's say aside yeah. From your parents, who who inspires you? Yeah, I would but say you can say that your parents. Yeah, no, no, yeah, they're number one. Yeah, I would definitely say they're number one. They have yeah. always been with me from the beginning. Because I, I can't even imagine how much that they've sacrificed to help me accomplish my goals, like even just driving me here, driving me to everything before I had a license when I was little doing internships. I would say one um, politician who really inspires me would be former Lieutenant Governor Kim Guadano. I've known her since I was 11 years old because I met her actually back when she was running to be Monmouth County Sheriff as a Monmouth County resident. And I think the thing that really inspires me the most about her is how committed she is to helping people. Like I saw behind the scenes, I had an opportunity to work for her right. summer after freshman year, how she was really committed to quickly and personally solving people's issues. And also she's always remained very humble and, and true to her roots. Now, did you find an opportunity to further your work in consumer affairs through the Rhodes Scholarship? Or did you then, were you already headed that way and the Rhodes Scholarship kind of helped you with that? Yeah, I would say I was already headed that way and I think the Rhodes would definitely help with that. As I mentioned, I had been an investigative aid and outreach coordinator for the Monmouth County Department of Consumer Affairs, so investigating and mediating consumer complaints, many of them after Superstorm Sandy. And then at Penn, I had the opportunity to create this organization called Penn Case, where we go out into the West Philly community to help educate people. Penn Case stands for Penn Consumer Assistance Support and Education. 
because I was shocked to learn that even though Philadelphia is the um, poorest major city in the U.S., there was no proactive consumer education program there. So I created this group in the spring of my freshman year, where so far we've reached about 1,970 Philadelphia residents through presentations, workshops, and the like. And now through the roads, I'm planning to uh, apply and study for a doctorate there where I would do three years of research looking at the internationalization of fraud and how we can work, how countries can work together to better solve those problems. You know, New Jersey is a blue state. Yes. Uh, but you, as we were talking before, you said you're kind of center right. Yes. So how, how, how are you going to run for office in New Jersey? What's, what's your plan? Yeah. Well, I think definitely starting at the local level is essentially key. And one of the, the biggest things that I've found, especially in politics, is the importance of bringing people together and, and being willing to talk to someone even if you don't fully agree with their perspective. And I think that is the type of approach that I want to take, to be someone who's willing to reach across the aisle and listen to the other side and work together, because that's something I feel is missing in politics today. And that's how you really solve problems, to help people, because that's what you're doing. You want to help people. You don't want to do it to hear yourself talk or just to be the politician. Yeah, so you're of the opinion that all change begins locally, yeah? Yes. Yeah, and I've seen that firsthand in my personal experiences because those are the people, when you're closest to the ground, you know the issues that are being faced and you can work to solve those because if you just come up from, you know, saying something from up high, you want to help the people um, who are really experiencing these problems and that may not necessarily occur if you're not following it from the local perspective. Chris Derso, another impressive New Jersey Road Scholar. Very nice to meet you and continued good luck. Thank you very much.